Ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday, and we're continuing our story of my honeymoon. So, we left Mexico. We ended up in Sydney, Australia. That was our next stop. And we went to the Sydney Opera House. We walked around. We went through a garden, and that was really cool. I got attacked by one of those um, white birds, like a cockatiel or a macaw. Or... It was a white white devil bird. I don't know what it was. I don't know what kind of bird it was. Anyway, so we made our way to New Zealand. When when we arrived, we were greeted by this. And it was awesome. That thing was so big. We ended up making it to Matamata. So the first thing we see before we even get to the end, the horse and jockey end, is uh, the eyesight, which is an information center, and it's shaped like a hobbit house, um, which is really cool, like a hobbit's hole, I guess you would say, uh, but it's it's out of the ground. It's I ran down the Shire Road um, with no shoes on, and it was it was more painful than I thought it might be. Uh, totally worth it. Um, so actually what ended up happening, we took a tour around the Shire. We got to go inside of a couple hobbit holes. Um, we went to Bilbo's house and check this out. How awesome is that? We got a leaf from Bilbo's tree right, at, right behind his house. At the end of our time in the Shire, we made our way through the woods, across the bridge, and to the Green Dragon Inn. And I had an ale, and Jacqueline had a cider, but we'll say she had an ale for the sake of the story. Um, we met Mr. Pickles, the cat. He is the only official resident of the Shire nowadays. If you know anything about the Lord of the Rings, the mother of our particular hobbit, what is a hobbit? I suppose hobbits need some description nowadays, since they have become rare and shy of the big people, as they call us. They are, or were, a little people, about half our height and smaller than the bearded dwarves. Hobbits have no beards. There is little or no magic about them, except the ordinary, everyday sort, which helps them to disappear quietly and quickly when large, stupid folk like you and me come blundering along, making a noise like elephants which they can hear a mile off. Uh, so as you can see, hobbits um, run away. And so there's lots of people in the Shire nowadays and they don't like people so much. So they run off. So Mr. Pickles is the only resident that anyone has ever seen in the Shire. Uh, of course there are visitors. Jacqueline and I got to pour. What? Oh, we pretended to pour. We got to hold the, the barrels, the giant kegs. Uh, so that was, that was really cool. We got to go in the daytime. The sun was setting and uh, we saw a bunny rabbit. I saw a bunny rabbit running around. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click the button below to check out my website. I got articles, I got lists, I got pictures up there and stuff. Check it out. You'll love it. One, go!